Welcome to the 26 Richard Show, and today we are going to be talking about the workshop that bioinnovation is going to be holding on diabetes. So today we're just going to go through what they're going to be talking about. So basically what they're going to be talking about, they're going to be talking about diabetes, and their first session they're going to be looking at the signs and symptoms, the risk factors, that's the, the precursors to diabetes and their risks, insulin resistance, gestational diabetes, and they're also going to look at the causes, the effects of weight on insulin resistance, and diabetes. Participants will review the numbers from their screening individually and they are also going to look at why diabetes is on the rise in Zimbabwe. Pharmacological management of diabetes is also going to be looked at, specifically medications, mechanisms and drawbacks. According to a 2015 meta-analysis study, it confirms that diabetes is on the rise in Zimbabwe. And according to this study, worldwide, someone dies from diabetes every six seconds. If the current trend continues, by 2040, the African continent will have the highest cost of diabetes in the world. The costs of care of diabetes are high and out of reach for many Zimbabweans. In 2015 in Zimbabwe, almost 210,000 people suffered from diabetes, and th this was from the Zimbabwe Diabetes Association, and it estimated that about 1.5 pe million people suffer from diabetes. 81.4% of the 7,000 non-diabetes-related deaths occurred in people under the age of 60, and more than 70% of the people between the ages of 20 and 75 are living with the condition and do not know it. The workshop is also going to look at what diabetes is, and it is noted here that it is a health condition in which the body does not use energy, glucose from food, because it does not or cannot at all produce enough insulin to help the energy enter the cells. Left untreated, it can have serious consequences including blindness, loss of limbs, kidney failure, or even death. How did we get here? Poor diets. Looking at Zimbabwe as an example, Zimbabwe is in a period of, of a nutrition transition in which we are giving up our healthy traditional foods for Western-inspired ingredients and highly processed foods over our, our lower nutritional value. Another reason was sedentary lifestyles. We sit too much and move very little, and we are overweight. Our waistlines are expanding. Some people also have a strong family history of diabetes. The risk factors. They are multiple, but the outlined above, the ones that I mentioned before, are the most crucial. That's weight, diet, physical activity, family history. Diabetes is a disease of lifestyle, and there is a strong research indicating that simple, realistic, and achievable changes in diet and lifestyle can effectively prevent and or delay the condition. Bioinnovation Zimbabwe and the African Port Nutrition are partnering on this event to increase awareness and screen Zimbabweans for diabetes. Early prevention is key, but the first you must know your risk. Demonstrate how to eat well to prevent diabetes. They are also going to discuss how heritage ingredients can fit in a healthy diet. They are also going to remind individuals that physical activity comes in many shapes and forms. Choose the one that works for you. And they are also going to empower participants to make informed decisions about improving their health. So this is what the program is going to look like. In their first session, they're going to have diabetes risk assessment quiz. They're going to have weight and height measurements, BMI calculation, waist circumference, blood pressure, cholesterol screening, and random blood glucose. Participants will then receive a sheet indica indicating all results which, we will go, which they will go over during the What is Diabetes? So if you are interested in, in attending this workshop, please RSVP at hello at 263 chat. And this is it from me, Faith Jorufura. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page, 263chat.